I know this has nothing to do with the get ready with me section of this video but I just wanted to show you guys what I got in the mail today because my order finally came and these are the clothes that I'm gonna be choosing to wear in the end of this get ready with me but I thought I would cut it in here and just show you guys like oh my god I got all these things from Shein I know I'm not supposed to shop at Shein because they're horrible but the clothes are not But I do my part, I recycle, I donate, and I sell my clothes. I never wasted my clothes. Is it really fast fashion? If I yeah it is! Oh my god! Because I'd be the bad baby. Your money is an ombre in the Monica. Okay, okay, I won't buy it as often. Cross my heart and hope to die. I won't buy it that often from Shein. I won't do it anymore. Any? Actually, I know I know I'm a sinner and I deserve to go to hell for what I did, but it's so pretty. All the things I got were so pretty. So let me just show you guys what I got, okay? Okay, first of all, I'm not sponsored. But if they want to sponsor me, I would tell them to go to hell because you're fast fashion and we hate you. So the first thing I got was a skirt. Don't ask me for the links because I don't want you guys to buy these things because it's bad for the environment and it's just bad. So I'm not going to give you the links, okay? Just I'm such a hypocrite. It's a really cute skirt. Okay, maybe I'll just show a screenshot. I hope it's not too small. Girl, it's a really cute skirt. It's a zebra print. I'll try it on for you guys. I'll add clips. Why am I such a hypocrite? I literally tell people not to go get things from Shein, but I'm getting things from Shein. Am I not the most disgusting thing on this face of this earth? Next thing I got was a white tank. That's cute, that's cute. Oh, I got a lot of basics because I wanted to be able to pair them with things. Next thing I got was a purse. Ooh. Ooh. This is super cheap by the way. So it literally looks like the lowest of qualities. But it's so cute, no? There's toothpaste on my shirt. I have to admit, this is not my first Shein haul. I've shopped at Shein before. <laughs> I just feel so guilty, but at the same time I feel so like, happy that these are so cute. Okay, you guys are gonna ask me what the hell are these, but these are fishnet, like, insiders that I'm gonna wear like inside my clothes like under t-shirts and stuff like that but I only wanted a top but it came with like an underwear <laughs> rusty but yeah there's that I also got a bra from Shein I don't know how good it's gonna be it's one of those bras that don't have the straps I'm not gonna try those on for you for many many reasons what is this? Oh, oh, okay, I forgot I bought this. It's a white turtleneck. I got this shirt. Pretty, no? Pretty, no? Uh huh. It's damn big. I got this in an M, no? Why the hell is it so big? And it's stretchy, dude. This is huge. Why didn't I get a small size? Okay, let's hope my boobs are big enough to fill that up. I've always liked the asymmetrical look, but I've never actually, you know, gotten it. So, um, this is the next one. It's a dress! <laughs> I'm really into purple recently. Are you guys looking for actual reviews? Because I'm not really a review type of gal. You know guys, today I went back on Instagram after like 3 weeks of not opening Instagram because I was on a fast from social media. So I went back on it and I noticed that I got a DM from Hits FM. And they told me that they wanted to po repost my video. That was like four days ago today that they sent me that DM. And I replied damn late lah because I wasn't on Instagram. If they do then like that would be super cool you know? Like my video will be here and there. If you guys haven't seen the video, it got like half a million views. So please go see it on my TikTok. Links in the bio. But if it's too late then... At least I have this DM to flex. The next thing I have is a skirt. It kind of looks, the pattern kind of looks like uh, buttholes. Or hooves. Or buttholes. 
Okay, next thing I have is a jacket. I'm damn excited for this jacket. It's a really pretty jacket. The material is kind of cheap, not gonna lie. But it's quite expensive, no? But it's kind of cute. It's a big black jacket. I might wear it. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it so often. God. Yeah, those are all my clothes. Um, back to the... Now back to the get ready with me. Nikki the Harajuku. Guys, 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 guys. I was filming the, the try on part and it's replied to my message. Are they all the sweetest things? Because they're literally... They sent me an emoji, you know. It's cute. So I don't know when they're going to post it. But if they do... Check out my Instagram. I'll probably repost their post of my repost. <laughs> Welcome to the get ready with me portion of this video. So I'm going to make this quick. Because this video is plenty long already. Today I want to tell you guys a story while I get ready. I need to do my skincare. Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. I was watching Friends and yesterday I got the I got to the part where she was at Mindy. Rachel was at Mindy's wedding and she was singing that song. Now it's stuck in my head. Ooh, yesterday I also watched My Fair Lady starring Audrey Hepburn and all of the entire songs from that movie is stuck in my head. Get me to the church on time. And they all have that accent. They don't pronounce the H. So it's Henry becomes Henry. Just you white Henry again. Oh my god, I really like the lovely song. It goes like, um, Wouldn't it be lovely? Lots of chocolate for me to eat. Lots of coal making lots of ice. Warm man's warm legs, warm fate. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely? Have you guys ever gone on a train and know that you don't have enough money to make it to your final stop? But you still went anyways. Because I have an... Oh, it wasn't pretty. It was, but I'm, I'm still here, you know. I didn't get stuck at the terminal. So what I did was, at the time in my life, I was really young. I was 16? I think I was 16. And I act like I'm not young now. I'm still young, okay? But back then I was 16 and I wanted to go to my friend's house which was all the way in Puchong. It was all the way in Puchong. If you know me, you know there's only one person who lives all the way in Puchong. Shout out to you babes. So I was going to my friend's house and I lived in PJ at the time so I had to take the MRT Transit LRT app. I transited at... Uh, was it Abdullah Hukum? No, Museum Nagara. Museum Nagara, right? That's the one where it has many stops. So I transited at Museum Nagara. And when I was there, I like walked by... I knew I just didn't have enough money. I knew in my card I didn't have enough money, but I have five ringgit. I had a five ringgit note in my hand. And I thought to myself, oh, five ringgit, maybe I could plead with the guy at the, you know, at the place there to like, let me out of the damn terminal. Because I have five bucks, you know, like, you're not going to let me wave around my five bucks and not do anything about it. Because in some stations, you can actually top out your touch and go with five bucks. Oh my god, is that noisy? Wait up. Uh. Also, I made this necklace myself. I was planning on selling it, but then I realized... I wanted to wear it. When I got at Museum Nagara, when I sampai Museum Nagara, I passed by a famous Amos. And then something about the smell was just so alluring. And I thought to myself, I'm going to her house and I don't have any buahati? Hat, Is that what they call it? Buahati? Buatangan? I didn't have any gifts and I just, just felt weird to go to someone's house and not bring a gift. Like when you ziarahi someone's house, you need to bring a gift, you know. Chundero wahati. Wow, I'm really, my BM is like down the drain. Why do I have cat hair everywhere? Ew. 
Anyways. Then I passed by the famous Amos and I thought to myself, I need them. I need the famous. I need the cookies. So I went to the counter and I knew I only had 5 bucks but that 5 bucks to get me 2 cookies. And I thought to myself, I could get those for my friend and her mom for being so gracious enough to take me in and, you know, have a sleepover, pay for my food. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy them a cookie. Even though I knew that I needed that five and get to touch it to reload my touch and go, but I don't know, man. Priorities, right? I just thought to myself, I'll figure out how I'm gonna leave the station later on, lah. So then I went and I bought two cookies. I bought like one hazelnut and one dark double chocolate. And then I went and I continued my journey all the way to um, Pusat Bandar Puchong. When I got there, I I exited the train and I went and I scanned my card. I had the audacity to scan my card knowing that I had like what two ringgit in there. And you know how touch and go cards they don't let you scan unless you have like five ringgit and above. So I was like shucks. Um, that's embarrassing. So then I went to the counter and I was like hi. And I remember who was sitting there. He's, it was a dude. He looked a little like he looked a little like that because like like even the way he ate he ate like he was eating with his hands and he was like not to assume someone's um sexuality or anything but he looked extremely flowery la he looks fruity so i was like okay maybe he has some compassion for a poor girl with two cookies in the middle of puchong and then I went. I was like, um, excuse me, abang. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, kasi ni boleh top up ta jenggo, uh, dua ringgit ta? Because that was all I had in my purse. I had the audacity to ask. And he was like, mana boleh? And I was like, um, sebab saya tak cukup duit. And he was like, what? And I was like, and I remember he was like middle eating with his hand, you know. So he came and he was just like, and his hand masih ada sambal and all that. And I could smell it. Back then, we didn't wear masks, right? And I was just like... And he was chewing. He was like... And I was like, I thought you could do it. And he was like, kenapa? And he was like... And he was like, kenapa? And I was like, mm, I thought... I lupa reload. So sekarang, I thought you could do it. And he was like, Kenapa you tak reload sebelum you masuk? You dari mana? And I was like, dari PJ. And he was like, Huh? And I was like, Huh? -huh. And then, I was like, Tapi I ada dua ringgit kat sini. Boleh tak? Sebab kan I dah bayar dengan tercenggo tu, dia orang dah ambil seberapa-berapa. Lepas tu, I ada seberapa-berapa. I was trying to freaking scam my way out of it lah. I don't even remember what I said. I just said a bunch of numbers. And he was just looking at me like he like sat there for a while and he was thinking about it like it looked it felt like forever because I was the poor broke girl, you know. And I was literally just standing there while he was like pacing back and forth in his tiny MRT cub cubicle. LRT, sorry, LRT cubicle. And like people were coming and going asking him like, oh kalau nak pergi KL guna yang mana and he was like oh yang tu yang tu then he would go back to pacing and like thinking what should I do with this poor broke girl that entered my station and honestly I think I was so lucky that I got him because if it wasn't him I probably they probably would have just like say lanta engkau lah none of my business kind of thing I'm adding a darker shadow to my eyes but luckily it was him and he went, okay, okay. I like, okay. Dengar cakap abang, okay? And I was like, okay. He felt bad for me because I was super young, right? So he was like, okay, dengar cakap abang. Um, I akan buka gate tu untuk you. Tapi, I'm, abang nak you buat something for me. I want you to do something for me. And then I was like, boleh abang. Boleh, boleh. You bet I was pulling out all the stops, bro. I was looking sad and I was looking desperate, vulnerable, breedable, all that good stuff. 
And he was like, Abang nak you tuliskan review untuk pasal abang. Lepas tu hantar ke LRT um, dot, what, you know the, not LRT. Who's in charge of the LRT? Rapid KL. He was like, Abang nak you tuliskan review. Lepas tu hantarkan pada Rapid KL pasal abang. And I was like, um, macam mana? And he was like, then he whipped out a brochure. All this while his hand masih ada kari, you know, he never bothered to wash it. And I was just standing there like, mm. And he was like, okay, ni laman web Rapid KL. Abang nak you tuliskan. Abang nak you tuliskan, um, then he told me his name, um, da 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 da, I don't remember, yang dia telah tolong saya pada da 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 da, um, terima kasih sangat-sangat lah, and then he was like, trying to fish for compliments, he was like, kan sebab I tolong you kan, sebenarnya tak banyak tau orang akan tolong you macam ni, so, fikir-fikir lah, um, kalau you, you nak tulis apa tentang I, and I was like, I want to get the hell out of this station. I'll write anything you want, babes. Girl, he was really fishing for that promotion. He really said, I'm going to get a shout out. And I was like, okay, girl, I see you. I see you. You're, you're not dumb. Okay, you're not dumb. You want something for this and I can respect that. So I was like, boleh, 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 boleh. Kenapa tak boleh? And he was like, okay. Um, so ni lama web tau. Ni nama abang I tau. Ni nama abang tau. Um, apa-apa just apa-apa um, adik nak tulis kalau adik su enjoy your experience in this train station uh, boleh lah tulis kat situ and I was like okay bang and he was like okay girl then he, we like kind of looked at each other I think we knew we knew we knew our brain lengths were like you want that promotion I want to leave let me do this for you and you can let me out of here so in the end he let me out and he was like bye and I was like bye and that entire ordeal was like just lasted what 10 minutes but I felt like superwoman and you might be wondering did you write and what did you write and like did you mention his amazingness I just recently the other day I thought about this story because recently the other day I was clearing up my email and I found that this was one of my drafts because I think I wanted to save it for a future story time when I was a popular YouTuber. So this is one of the drafts that I wrote. This was what I sent in to Rapid KL. Uh, I don't know if anything happened after that. I never got a reply email. Um, but Abang, whatever your name is, I hope you're doing well out there. I hope you got that promotion you were eyeing and that you get you're getting lots and lots and lots and lots of cash, cool hard cash. Thank you so much for saving me that day because, yeah. And in the end, my mom, eh, my friend's mom and her enjoyed those cookies, so. This is all thanks to you, Abang Rapid KL. What can I say to bless you? Thank you so much to you, Abang Rapid KL. I'll forever be thinking of you. My god, my stupid makeup bag can't enter the okay. So that is this is my makeup for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of a short one. Okay, let me just get changed. And then I need to leave.